Hi there Capricorn, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot. This is going to be your weekly intuitive reading for November 16th through to the 22nd. Capricorn, thank you so much for all your beautiful and supportive comments about me doing this face to camera thing and overcoming my shyness. Um, you guys are amazing. I have the best viewers, like not a single nasty, weird, crazy comment. So thank you so much. Anyway, Capricorn, let's get into the reading here. Um, what I will be doing is drawing you an overarching energy from the Work Your Light Oracle, going to the Moonchild Tarot for an overarching tarot card and getting out your tarot story with right away, clarified with the Star Child Tarot. So Capricorn, let's see what message we have for the collective this week. Stop, I have got the ever unfolding rose. Cracked open, it's happening for you, not to you. For me, this is a card of vulnerability and kind of feeling into that space. And also there's a message here of sometimes we feel like when things are maybe going wrong in our life, we kind of blame external circumstances and we get angry at the universe and God and, you know, shouldn't be experiencing this. Everything should just be roses. This is a message that it's happening for you not to you. One, that means that we are actually, you know, the conscious creators of our reality. And two, that means that sometimes the universe is shifting us by removing what might not be in alignment, you know, in your life. And that's why, you know, sometimes relationships end, relationships start. Um, you know, we, we move locations because then we're going to land that perfect job there or the soulmate's going to come in that place. We don't really know what's in store or what our master plan is for our life. And Really, we want to be the conscious creator, but we also want to live with surrender as well and surrender to the divine plan. So you might be feeling into a bit of vulnerability at the moment. Just know that, you know, as Brene Brown says, in vulnerability is great power. We have the ability to create the deepest connection with self and with others from that place. So let's get out your overarching tarot card here, Capricorn. For the Capricorn Collective, take the top one, Queen of Cups. Well, if anyone knows what it's like to be cracked open and just feel it all, it is the Queen of Cups, right? She is that beautiful, watery, compassionate, intuitive, um, emotional sign or, or card or energy, whatever you want to call it. Um, she generally is the energy of cancer. It doesn't have to be. This could be an indicator that it's time for you to really feel into your emotional center, become grounded. You might be going through high emotions, but it's really time for you to hold yourself to, you know, build that emotional intelligence and really tune into what might be going on. Could it also be a significant person in your life as well? It doesn't have to be a cancer, but somebody who's really there for you to hold you emotionally. All right, let's see where this is going here, Capricorn. So beginning with the energy of the recent past, energies leaving, completing, transitioning in your life, what you may be journeying for the collective. Take that top one I have got. The Ace of Swords. Yeah, because Spirit is saying that there is a breakthrough here for you and a victory. And it might be that the victory is, you know, on the other side of the situation. So getting out the current or focus energy, Capricorn. Eight of Wands. Change. Yeah, this is a point of change. I, and that could be my Divine Intervention card, by the way. So it kind of goes back to, you know, what I was saying about spirit moving you moving you by maybe removing something from your life and you're feeling you know maybe into the sadness of it at the moment but we have to keep the master plan in mind let's get the outcome energy out capricorn please outcome energy near future they're just wanting to flip in big groups stop Three of Wands, yeah, new path opening up for sure. I've got the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I feel like some of you might be going it alone and that could either be coming into a period of singledom or obviously in our working career as well, going it alone. So maybe you have, you know, left a partnered situation in business or in, um, in relating. I've got the Nine of Wands here, clarifying the Ace of Swords. Yeah, clarifying the Eight of Wands. 
Ace of Swords again. You have got two Ace of Swords. Wow. Clarifying the Three of Wands, Six of Swords. Yeah, there's a real moving on energy. I've got the Hermit here as well, the card of Virgo, number nine, and the Major Arcana. So it's so funny because I've got nines on either side here. I also have the Nine of Wands. 999 is a angel number here. You may want to give that a Google. Um, we have got nines on both bottoms of the deck, and both of these uh, are about you know individual energy and maybe a solo journey so I really feel that some of you are maybe leaving a group a partnered situation business work career friendship whatever um, and maybe heading on your own it's a new path opening up here for you but spirit is saying that even though you might be feeling um, cracked open like the ever unfolding rose and there's some, some emotions and vulnerability maybe sadness all of that happening this is a breakthrough for you because it's leading you somewhere else. It's leading you to really great abundance here. So let's go to the recent past situation here. I mean, Nine of Wands. This is that energy of kind of almost but not quite, you know. And the Wands, you know, if we get to the Ten of Wands, it's really about releasing something that's been quite stressful. Um, a real sort of burden on your energy because Wands is like our power and energy. So there could have been a situation that's been quite taxing for you. Um, it can be that, that weight on your shoulders. could be a job that's burnt you out, too much responsibility in a relationship where it's really one-sided, having to do everything, that kind of thing. Um, it can be just going through a period in your life where everything just feels really heavy. You don't really know why. Nothing's really moving. You kind of feel like you're sort of in this weird holding pattern. That's what I think of with the Nine of Wands sometimes. And you've got this dream of... You know, the fertile past is the abundance, but it's like you just quite can't, quite can't quite get there in the Nine of Wands energy. But you're just one wand away, or maybe one Ace of Swords away from making that happen um, and closing this off to a Ten of Wands so that you can actually move on. Because the person in the Nine of Wands energy is often um, a little bit caught up in that fight, flight, or fit, freeze sort of energy, you know. A lot of energy is going into just managing the daily situation, so you can't really actually move ahead. Capricorn, I got to the end of your reading and realized my camera had cut off after eight minutes. That is not cool. <laughs> but anyway, I want to stick with the integrity of the cards I have here, so I'm picking up again. I'm sure the message will come through again. So I had arrived at the Hermit. And what I wanted to say about the Hermit is that, you know, there could be some, a bit of a healing journey that needs to happen. You know, the Hermit is really that energy, Capricorn, of going within to seek your own counsel, to hear your own wisdom, and of course that of Source that speaks through you. It's called Serenity in this deck, so it's about coming back to your serene, you know, beautiful, authentic, heartfelt Queen of Cups energy through that. Um, yeah, and it talks here, you know, the Hermit is about the more you seek, the more the answers come to you. And of course, with the Ace of Swords here, for me, this is really a reminder of, you know, when we go within, that's when you're going to get the breakthrough moment and the path forward will be illuminated. It links to healing, it links to rebirth, and it says that the answers that you are looking for, Capricorn, really are um, within you. Uh, this can also be a card of going solo. I'm sorry, I'm not sure if I said this before the camera cut off, but it can be a card of um, going solo in business or love, you know, being maybe alone, not necessarily lonely, but being um, alone, traveling alone as well. So you could definitely be on some kind of solo journey here with the Three of Wands, the uh, Nine of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. So that's the Hermit energy. The more you seek, the greater clarity you will gain. And I feel that there's some kind of fundamental breakthrough in that. Look at that, Ace of Swords. This is a new beginning, and it's a victorious new beginning because you're going into it with clarity, with um, you know, vision with insight, basically. And it really is that energy of cutting yourself free from the past, what doesn't serve, you know, establishing clear boundaries for yourself, claiming that powerful, powerful new beginning. And, you know, it's um, it can also come through 
very, very much an honest or truthful communication. That could even just be internal dialogue, Capricorn. So there is a breakthrough moment. There is a new beginning to be had here for you. And if we turn to your current or focused energy, we have that again. So I'm kind of feeling like the breakthroughs are going to keep coming. There's not just one. It's kind of like, oh, now that makes sense. And I see why that had to happen. And it's like the dots connecting. And in hindsight, we can, we can look back. And, you know, we can really, you know, we can really understand where we're being moved to. I don't know if you've watched that um, Steve Jobs um, Stanford University speech when he says, you can only connect the dots looking when you look back. You know, at, at the time, sometimes we think, oh, I'm having a tower moment. This is terrible. My whole life's falling down. You know, like he said that when um, he was having all his, you know, business issues. But the universe is moving you and sometimes we don't realize until later. So I'm kind of getting that sense about this, this reading here. Um, because we've got the eight of, of wands in your current focus energy. And for me, this is divine intervention and it's the energy of being moved, right? And it can be swift change, swift change or progress in your life. Things kind of like all of a sudden doing a 180 is what I'm feeling. And, um, yeah, it, it can also be the energy of travel or relocation or some kind of message coming through. And it could be um, a divine message or it could be, um, you know, an earthly message that comes through the airwaves like social media, a friend or colleague or somebody from the past reaching out to you. But whatever this message is, it's going to shift your life in some way. That is my feeling about this card. Again, it indicates travel, relocation or maybe an opportunity that is you know, elsewhere. And that doesn't mean that maybe you're not physically relocating. You might be shifting to say working online or communicating with somebody online as well. So continuous unfolding um, breakthroughs that are connecting the dots for you, Capricorn. And here we have the Six of Swords, which is interesting because this is a real energy of moving on, a necessary rite of passage, and it's with a bit of a heavy heart when the Six of Swords is in the, re in the reading. You know, it's like I'm feeling into that vulnerability and I know I need to make a move, but I kind of wish things had, had worked out. But it's, keep in mind, Capricorn, it's not until we look back and connect the dots that we'll realize why we're having to do this now. And if you see this person here, sorry, my camera doesn't autofocus, but see how she's between those two groups of three swords? You might be moving on from, um, you know, two situations that haven't worked out, maybe two, two significant relationships. It could be um, that you've gone through this pattern and work or sabotaging something in your life twice. And now you're making that resolution to not allow that to happen again. And you've released that. Look how she's not, you know, doesn't have any bags or much clothing. It's this real kind of like stripped bear, that vulnerability. She's cracked open and she's heading into the fog, heading into the unknown. Sometimes, you know, we don't know where we're heading and that is okay. And all will be revealed because, you know, when you step through the fog, you find yourself at the three of wands. Look at this. This person in the three of wands knows that the past is done, disconnected and disengaged from that. But this is looking from the present moment to the future and there's already ships on the horizon. So it says that just even by making these moves, it's like you're going to kind of feel, oh, I've made the right move and, you know, things start happening, things are placed in your path to give you the divine confirmation. And this is about creating, number three, a whole new reality for yourself that is going to bring in, bring those ships to, to harbour. Um, and, and grow them into whatever it is that you are trying to manifest here, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a business. I keep these really, really general, these readings. So taking the inspired action, and you'll see here this character's holding the Ace of Wands, which is the final wand that you needed, Capricorn, to tip this over to the 10 to release the weight. The weight is finally off you. The burden is finally cleared. And if you know about the Rider version of this card, it shows... The person who's carrying 10 wands in front of their face. So the person that has been carrying the stress, carrying the weight, um, his vision is very much clouded, cannot see other opportunities. But as soon as, um, you know, that, that is released with that final wand, all of a sudden we've got this expansive vista and we can see everything. And, you know, you've got this eagle eye perspective of the opportunities that are going to come in for you. And 
come and they will because the future outcome here at the Nine of Pentacles says that you are heading in the direction, Capricorn, of quality, of luxury, of abundance, and that you can do it on your own. This is the energy of self-sufficiency, independence, shining in your own light, being confident, magnetic, attractive. Like if the hermit is about going into the cocoon to transform, this is you on the other side coming out as a butterfly and totally shining bright and being ready to bring those ships to harbor, to harbor and, you know, enjoy the harvest here. So it's a beautiful, beautiful energy. There is the energy that good things take time. And the other card at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn, um, was the Three of Cups that was underneath that. And the reason why I wanted to talk about this one as well is because the, the, the seeds that you are planting now, they are going to become an abundant harvest. And I'm not saying it's all going to play out in the space of this week, but you're making the fundamental moves to kind of lock it in. And it's in the next season, whether that's in two months or next year, that you will be enjoying celebrating the fruits of your labor, that this move, this journey that you've gone on will start to deliver. And you'll look back and you'll see all of the dots joined up and you'll realize, I know why I was being moved here. Thank you, Source. Thank you, Spirit, because now I am enjoying something far greater. Capricorn, it's beautiful energy. I really love this. Um, the message came out fairly similar to the first time, maybe a little bit shorter, but that is okay. Um, I do hope you enjoyed this reading. Keeping in mind it's a general reading for the collective. It may not resonate in its entirety for everyone. There's lots of different themes coming through. Sometimes the whole thing is yes, and sometimes it's like, what is she on about? But that just means it's not your reading this time, Capricorn. Maybe next time. Um, feel free to drop me a comment if you're called to share. I do read them all and try to respond to as many as I can. It helps me get to know you and connect with your energies and see what's happening in the collective. And I will see you back here next week for another reading, Capricorn. Bye for now.